I first of all want to thank uh, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting and Government of India for uh, giving me this opportunity to moderate the first session of this national conclave. And um, I must say that uh, I couldn't have asked for a better eminent panel than what I have here. But since we are running uh, slightly late in the schedule, uh, we are going to be uh, doing a quick round of first remarks by our uh, eminent panelists one by one and then uh, go for uh, one more, uh, maybe a concluding remark. But let me just uh, set the background of, uh, or the backdrop of this uh, conclave or this session itself. And uh, as you heard uh, through the inaugural session, uh, in the past nine years, this country has uh, embarked on a path of transformation which is not seen for years together, for decades together. And internationally, uh, I can tell you as a journalist uh, who has been watching this space for 40 years, that uh, India's stock has risen like never before, globally. You heard uh, Minister Ashwini Vaishnav talking about how uh, the international global leaders recognize India's leadership and look for contribution from India. Uh, as probably some of you know, Morgan Stanley said in November 2022 that this is going to be India's decade. In April 2023, IMF predicted India will emerge as the fastest growing economy in the world. India is seen as the leader of the global south, as you all know, and therefore a balancer in the fight between uh, the Russia-China axis on one hand and the western world on the other. So, in short, India is surging. India is taking the lead in uh, trying to uh, balance the global order in the flux that we are seeing. Uh, the national conclave, therefore, could not have come at a better time, uh, no sal, seva, sushashan or garib kalyan. So, without much ado, uh, let me start uh, asking our eminent panelists uh, to uh, give their views. So, let me ask the first question to uh, Mr. Sunil Mittal. All of you know him as uh, a first generation entrepreneur now a business tycoon and somebody who has done a very successful journey as an entrepreneur uh, and now uh, having wide-ranging uh, interest in telecom, space, digital solutions and finance or financial solutions. So let me ask you Mr. Mittal and if you can address the audience uh, straight looking at them, how do you look back on the past decade in terms of ease of doing business and the policy enablers? Uh, of good governance that this government has assured in. How much of a difference policy has made uh, to uh, business uh, enterprises like you, the, the ones that you lead? Uh, 